Whoo! Y'all know what time it is, right? Yo, we here for the vibes, baby. We here for the nampy vibes. I'm talking about them cilantro vibes. And we finna get into it, y'all, but first, y'all know how we do. <laughs> Intro! Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. <laughs> what is good, fam bam? It is your boy, Jason JV. Saying welcome to another reaction video. And yes, yes, y'all. And y'all, y'all, y'all gonna have to pardon your boy, man. But your boy feeling, feeling pretty good as of late, man. Beginning the best rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? You know what your, what your boy started doing? Started taking cold showers to kick off my day. And then um, at the end of my day, before hit, going to bed, I take warm showers. You know what I'm saying? And dog. Dog. I'm just saying. You haven't lived until you kick your days off right with a cold shower and then end them off with a warm shower. You get the best rest ever. You know what I'm saying? Really gets the endorphins kicking. You know what I'm saying? Get that nice dopamine hit. I'm saying. I'm saying, man. And your boy started working out again. I kind of been slacking on the workouts only because right here in my arm, the inside of my elbow, um, right here in the lower part of my uh, bicep. Um, I thought it was my, my arm was cramped or something, but actually I think there's something far more serious. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a tear here. Because whenever I try to lift and bend my elbow, I would feel a pain, a shooting pain here. And then I would shoot, feel a shooting pain on the lower part on the other side of the inside of my elbow. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I still kind of feel it. It's not as bad now. My arm does feel like it is healing. It is getting better. And your boy is slowly but surely getting back into his workout routine. So, yeah, man. We feeling good, man. I got my supplements, too, over there. You know what I'm saying? Helping your boy. You know what I'm saying? Get a little healthier, man. We getting we getting a little healthier. We getting a little cleaner. You know what I'm saying? We getting more rest. We getting energized, man. So yeah, boy, feeling pumped right now, man. But we don't want to get too excited, man. Like I said, we here for the Nampy vibes. Speaking of Nampy vibes, we got my man Namson with this song simply called "Fight," and uh, this is very interesting because you know usually my man be about them cool mellow vibes. So this says the official audio. This is the semi-final music video. And we got hashtag DJ Trump 2024. Yes. Yes. Donald Trump 2024. That's who we need to win this election. So America could be great. Continue to be great. Or be great again. I don't know. Depending on how y'all look at it. But anyway. Let's go ahead. Or well, might help if I had the headphones on. Look at this, man. I'm so energized, I'm so pumped up and everything, man. And I'm so so excited in getting to this one. Forgot to put the headphones on. But anyway, we got the phones on. Let's go ahead and get into this Namson track simply called Fight. And yes, DJ Trump 2024. Without further ado, like the hit hit. Nah, YouTube, YouTube, internet, I don't know what it is, but y'all can't not be doing my name, my man Nampy like that. I'm just, I'm just not having that, man. You are not going to disrespect the homie by giving me less than quality visuals. Okay, we ain't having that. Let's try this again. man internet be be disrespecting the homie you know what i'm saying all right look i'll cut you some some slack here we'll go with 720 you can't give me 720 we're gonna have some problems all right come on now i'm trying to compromise here i'm trying to be nice let's go by the way uh hashtag spoomoni if you know you know I gotta say, so far, I'm digging the visuals, man. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, we got the capital. We got, you know, the man himself, Mr. 45, who will be Mr. 47. Yes, he is going to win this election. It's gonna happen. Bruh, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, where were you on the day to shout the president? What you gon' do when you hear them say it's never said? Tell me now, y'all, does it really feel free to be American? Mm, now, I ain't one for political. I mean, my man is not wrong. It, it, how can we say we are living in the land of the free? How can we say do we really do feel free living in America when we got to worry about things like censorship? We got to watch what we say. We don't really have free speech, man, because we got to watch what we say, especially on a public platform. You know what I'm saying? We can't truly have, you know, uh, a, a certain type of, of, of an opinion because we got to worry about somebody canceling us. We got to worry about, you know, being deplatformed. And we just can't be having that, man. It's not right. It's a violation of our First Amendment rights, man. Let's go, Nappy. Keep talking, my man. Rhetoric, whispers in the crowd. We all see what the agenda is. Only one man in the way of something malevolent. I like how my man incorporated the events of the assassination attempt with Trump putting the fist in the air, shouting, fight, fight, fight. Yo, my man Trump, let me tell you something about the homie Trump, the OG of OGs. That man took that shot like a champ. You know what I'm saying? Right through the ear. You know what I mean? And he didn't like, oh, you my ear. No, no. My man got up and put the, and balled up the fist, put it up, and told us all to not give up. He said, fight, fight. That dude is a man. He is, he is a whole man. Let's go. I ain't one for political rhetoric, whispers in the crowd. We all see what the agenda is. Only one man in the way of something malevolent. Yeah. Let me. That's right, man. We got this false narrative going on. People are saying, no, Trump is the enemy. He, he, he doesn't want America to be safe. And all this and that, you know, he, he he's, he's a racist, he's all, he's, he's a uh, ist, some kind of ist or phobe, you know what I mean? All these hateful things, when really the man is neither of those things, you know what I'm saying? They'll be, they'll be getting caught up in the hype, they'll be getting caught up in the, in the false narrative, you know what I'm saying? Listen to the man speak for yourself and form your own informed opinions. Don't go by what your, your, your damn, well, I, I was going to say idiot box, but they don't make them in boxes anymore. They look more like frames now. Don't be fooled by what your idiot frame tells you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let your mind get programmed by propaganda and lies. You know what I'm saying? Listen to the man himself. Let him speak. And you never know. You might like the way he speaks. You might like what, what he has to say. I'm just saying. Anyway. Let me tell you about the greatest place. I need to say something now before I fade away. I'm proud to be a citizen of the USA. But how we living right now ain't all that great. I just want to say, man, I got to compliment Nappy on those green Adidas. I'm feeling those green Adidas, man. Let's go. We need for some nutch. You see them green Adidas? I'm saying. I'm saying my man got style, man. Let's go. People are running away. They like to create division because they love to hate. I don't yes, not wrong. Again, going back to what I was saying earlier about, you know, the news media. You know what I mean? And then, of course, you know, you got these. These people who are blindly supporting the Democratic Party who are creating all this negativity, all this hatred, all this division. And for what? How is that helping us, the people as a whole? How is that helping our country? It's not. You claim you want to be united, but yet you're saying all these mean and hateful things. That's creating more division than it is unison. Please make that make sense. Come on now. Let's go. I don't care if you think differently, if your opinion that you're giving is a sit with me. So long as we agree on the freedom of speech and the pursuit of happiness, life, and liberty. Yo, I feel that 100%. Yeah, look, it's cool if you have a different opinion than me. That's cool. I can respect that. I can respect your right to free speech. So as long as you, you, you respect my right to free speech. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, we don't got to be at each other's throats or hate each other just because we don't see eye to eye on anything everything no it's cool to have a different viewpoint have a different you know opinion on certain things certain issues you know what i mean and, and of course on our country and our leadership that's cool but yo be respectful to me and my right to free speech and guess what i'll do the same for you i will give you that same respect i'll give you that same love you know what i'm saying bruh i don't have to agree with it but i will respect it and all i ask for the same treatment in return man which is a fair thing to ask for if you think about it. I'm just saying. I need to fight for my rights. Lies coming in from both sides. There's something in Facts. We all need to fight for our rights. We all deserve to have rights as individuals. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's go. the water that's making everyone blind. What do you say when everything crumbles? I like how I had my man doing the dance. He doing the dance to the beat. And he on point too, man. Let's go. Let's go. Don't tell me Trump can't dance. We really need someone. The country's in frames. I'm seeing troubles. Fight for your freedom, son. Felt more disgraced than how I feel now with this poor display of misinformed debate. I'm hoping for the day when the dust settled down from the storm we braved. Yeah, unfortunately, we do have, you know, people who are misinformed, people who, who have very um, unintelligible um, opinions, unintelligible uh, viewpoints. You know, and, and it's and it's just, it's it's sad, really, because you know. <sighs> I've said this before and I'll say it again, man. It's like it's like that um that old education or that old college commercial that we used to see here on, on TV, man. You spend all day on the internet. Right? So why aren't you using it? Do your research. You know what I mean? Be more informed. At least know what it is that you're arguing. Know what it is that you are debating. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Bruh. Save yourself the embarrassment of making yourself look like a fool by actually taking the time with, with you being on the internet to do your research and know what it is that you're talking about. Know what's going on. Just saying. Let me tell you about the coup d'etat of who they got. They trying to shoot they shot. Wait, they missed. Who thank God. Let me say it again. I said, who thank God. Who thank God. Listen. If you're wishing for the death of a presidential elect, I think it's evident your head has been possessed by something that the devil sent and it was meant to affect us. Facts, though. Facts. Amen to that, brother. If you are wishing death on a president elect, you know what I mean, then there is just no doubt that your brain is being possessed by an evil entity, an evil spirit, perhaps the devil, or some other demon, some other evil entity. You don't have to like Trump. That's cool. You don't have to like the man. You don't even, you don't even have to respect the man, but I mean to to wish death on him that's just wrong. That's just wrong. That is evil. That is dark. You need to have your head examined. I mean, that that's just my opinion. What if it were Kamala? Hmm? I know there's some of you out there that are supporting Kamala. You're you're going to vote for Kamala. You know what I mean? What if she was in that position? How would you feel if people were to say the same thing about her? Hmm? How would you feel? Put it this way. No matter who it is, all right? No matter who you support, if someone were to say things like that about the person you support, how would you feel? Hmm? You would think that the person who is wishing death on, on this potential elected official, you know what I mean? There's something warped going on in their head. I'll tell you a personal story and how I can relate to this. I remember um, back in 2016 during uh, the whole Trump versus Hillary election cycle, right? That whole time period. I spoke out on social media, <clears throat> more so in support of Trump and against Hillary. And one of my own relatives, one of my own blood relatives that I used to be so tight with, right? Who was, who was like a sister to me, right? We were so tight. We were like brothers and sisters, right? When she saw my opinions about Trump versus Hillary, guess what this grown ass woman said to your boy? Hand to God. She called me a wannabe gangster, really a wannabe white boy. She also said in that same statement, I hope nothing happens to you, but if something were to happen to you, guess what? I'm going to laugh at you. So she's not hoping for something to happen to me. She's expecting something to happen to me, whether I get my ass kicked, possibly killed, and no matter what, she's going to laugh at me. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying, is it really that serious? Is it really, you know, that serious to the point where you're willing to tell your own family 
you know, screw you. If you get your ass beat or if somebody kills you, I'm going to laugh at you. Is it really that? Is it, is it, does it really need to go that far? Hmm? As far as who we support, as far as who we, who we choose to have as our leaders to run this country. Think about it. Anyway, let's get back into this. Better written yourself, you're just letting it spread. Do we agree that murder is pure evil? It's illegal, it's egregious, it's the farthest thing from Jesus or whoever you believe. Yes, I, I will agree. Yes, murder is wrong, it's illegal, you know what I'm saying? And it is evil. Even it's obscene, we see people in the streets say we trump the thing is needed. What does it take to get out? And Nebby is not oh shit. My bad, y'all. I didn't mean to wind it that far. Let me see. We're about here, right? Like, I think it's evident your head has been possessed by something that the devil sent. Uh, let's see. My bad. Let's agree, just it's the farthest yeah. thing from Jesus or Okay, yeah. And yes, it is. Murder is the furthest thing away from Jesus. It is the furthest thing away from God. You know what I'm saying? If you if you're pro murder, whatever, you're not pro God, you're not pro Jesus, you're not pro life, you are pro devil, you are pro Satan. You are pro Lucifer. You are pro Antichrist. If you believe that someone should be murdered. Now I will agree. There should be exceptions to the rule. Like um PDF files, you know what I'm saying? People who abuse children, people who abuse women. Sure. Sure. I'll, I'll give you that. You know what I mean? I won't disagree with that. But outside of that, if you believe that someone who wants what's best for us, the people, who only wants what's best for our country and for us, the people, if you believe that person regardless of what political party they're associated with, deserves to be murdered? Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. And I, and I can't get on board with that. I'm just saying. Anyway. Or whoever you believe in, it's obscene. We see people in the streets say we Trump, they think is needed. What does it say? And what I was about to touch on when he said that, yes, there, believe it or not, there actually are people on social media saying like, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying murder is okay i'm not saying i wish death on the man but why did the guy have to miss there are people who are actually saying this they're basically contradicting themselves you're not wishing murder on the guy but you're upset that his you know potential assassin failed that's sick that's twisted that's wrong that's evil anyway to get out the jungle We really need someone We're losing faith The country's in rubble I think we need DJ Trump I like how he said, I think we need DJ Trump And then we got my man DJ Trump On the ones and twos Look at this, we got my man on the tables Let's go Let's go. My man Nappy knew what he was doing here, man. I, I, I love the visuals. Nappy, if I was wearing a hat hat, well, I'll tip my bandana to you, sir, for that one. But I like the visuals. Let's go. You need DJ Trump. Well, tell me who to blame, who is my scapegoat. I know the news will say something like they ain't no. Orchestrated like JFK by the CIA. I see I'm hoping for the same show. Point the finger at me, at me. I'm a point the finger at Now, I do appreciate the fact that he mentioned JFK. Because let's go down the line of presidents who history will tell you were actually decent, if not great presidents, that were either assassinated or almost assassinated. You had, even though. There's some things about him that may be questionable. You have Abe Lincoln, right? You have JFK, right? You have Ronald Reagan, who was almost assassinated. There was an assassination attempt on Ronald Reagan during his presidency, right? And he was a Republican president, by the way. But he was very well loved. Very universally loved. You know what I mean? By both parties. Now you got Trump. Who was almost assassinated. So I mean. I'm saying. I'm saying. 
if you're not trying to get assassinated, I mean, there's probably a reason for that. If you got a leader, right, that people are trying to assassinate, that should probably tell you something about him. I mean, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Where you, where you, we are. Point the finger at who, at who, saying who pulled the trigger that day. DJ. Turn my music up. I think I'm about to lose my mind. They think we're stupid, but the truth is we see through the lies. It's time we... I gotta say too, I love Nappy's flow on here. Nappy's always got a great voice, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's the rap and whether it's the singing he's been doing lately, doesn't matter. I always love listening to Nappy's voice. Just got done um, listening to Nappy's album, Phases. I have it in my car, you know what I'm saying? Um, and yeah, I, I want to say, man, shout out to Nappy for the album Phases. Amazing album. You can get your hands on a hard copy of Phases. I believe on the Thursday Night Records website, I will post a link so y'all can go and support the homie. You know what I mean? If you don't have a hard copy of, of Nampson's album Phases, well, you ain't living right. You ain't living life right. You was all kinds of wrong. You know what I mean? Go support the homie. You know what I'm saying? You definitely can find him on all streaming platforms as well. On all streaming platforms, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let's go. I'm the man and that we fight Put your hand up if America's alive Here come on everybody Don't you back down Better not back down Cause what do you say When everything crumbles I think we need someone The state of the K Got us all playing Not wrong, as well as gas prices. I think we need someone. The borders in crisis were truly divided. I want and don't get me started on the border. I went to go visit my grandfather not long ago, who's in hospice care. That man came into this country, right, with my grandmother, God rest her soul. With my father, my aunt, God rest her soul, and my two uncles, right? And he did it through the legal port of entry. He got the he got all of them their citizenships. You know what I'm saying? They all became legal citizens. They came into this country, living just like regular everyday American citizens. You know what I'm saying? Just want to just want to live life like normal everyday American citizens. You know what I mean? Don't want to bother nobody. Just want to, you know, again, just live, just live their best lives. That's it. That's all they wanted. They came into the legal port of entry in, in accomplishing that. So how do you think someone like me feels, right? No, with this knowledge in my mind, right? How do you think my family and I feel knowing that we got a wide open border, right? And everyone could just come in all willy nilly without no repercussions, no consequences, no respect to a law that had already been established since the day this country was founded by our founding fathers who back then were saying no hey look if people from other countries want to come here and be a citizen that's fine but we have a system that allows them to do that okay trump didn't put that system in place obama didn't put that system into place bill clinton didn't put that system into place george w bush didn't put that system into place no the founding fathers of this country put that system into place. So if you got a problem with us having a system like that in place, go take it up with them. Oh, you can't. Because they're all dead. And if you're someone who believes that we should have an open border policy and just let anyone in, do me a favor then. Take all the locks off your doors. Hell, you may as well just take all the doors off your house, open all your windows, all your ports of entry to your house and let the and let these people stay with you since you have no problems with them coming in i'm just saying this country it's like our home it is our home and much like your home you don't let just anyone come into your home right i'm just saying i'm just saying i find it very offensive and it's a blatant disrespectful slap in my grandfather's face who came into this country honorably with his with with our family through the legal port of entry 
It's offensive for people like me who do things right, who do things by the law, by the book. So don't tell me closed borders, secure borders are offensive. No, the opposite is actually offensive. One hope is DJ Trump. Yo, shout out to Donald J. Trump. Shout out to Kid Rock. Always been a Kid Rock fan. Shout out to Dana White. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Joe Rogan, too. Joe Rogan has been more open and seems like come around. Joe Rogan's come a long way, man. I got to give that dude his due. You know what I'm saying? Respect for Joe Rogan. Bruh. Bruh. I hope I get to a point where in, in, in my content creation career, you know what I'm saying, from both my YouTube and my music to where I can get his attention and I can come on to his podcast and have a conversation with Joe Rogan. I would love to have a conversation with Joe Rogan. I can have a conversation with that dude. Anyway. So that was the homie Nampy with the song Fight. Official Aja. I will match the like. You know what I'm saying? Because that is the homie. And I agree with everything that the homie said in the song. You know what I'm saying? Great song. I love the flow. I dig that voice. You know what I'm saying? Maybe got, maybe got a smooth, sexy voice. I'm just saying. Bruh. <clears throat> Strong message behind it as well. A very powerful message. A message that I do agree with wholeheartedly, as I mentioned. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave a little comment on the homie's video. See, hashtag Spoomoni. fire song with a fire message and we'll put message in all caps uh, keep it up my brother here we go comment All right, y'all. So, yes, hashtag Spumoni, hashtag cilantro, hashtag, hashtag nappy vibes. You know what I'm saying? Your boys with this 100%. Y'all are too. Best believe I will have the link for this video so y'all can go show it some love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you let the homie Nampy know that your boy JJV done sent you. Sure, he would appreciate that, as would I. I will also provide the link for the uh, Thursday Night Records website. So, if you want to go get a hard copy of Nampy's album Phases, highly encourage y'all to go do so. You know what I'm saying? Because, yo, your life is not complete if you don't have that album. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a dope album, man. It got the it got the nampy, the smooth nampy vibes, man. And how can you not like nampy vibes? You know what I'm saying? Bruh. I'm just saying. Anyway, shout out to the homie Nampy. Uh, great song. Great message. Again, I'm with. You know what I mean? Y'all are with. Y'all know to do the link in the description down below. And also, don't forget, if you're digging the vibes over here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe, especially if you're new and you're digging the vibes. would be very much appreciated. All other links, if you want to support the channel, you want to buy some merch, and of course, a link for my album, um, Welcome to My Madhouse, still available. You can also get copies of my album, Welcome to My Madhouse, on the Thursday Night Records uh, website if you want just a regular copy. It's only 10 bucks. If you want an autograph copy, that is 15 bucks. And all you got to do is DM your boy. <clears throat> your preferred uh, mailing address, and then if you got a PayPal or something, you know what I mean, hit up my PayPal. Link for that should be in the description down below. And, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Pretty much all I got to say. So y'all know the deal. Y'all take care. I'm a blessed one. I'll catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm going to have to do that to do with him. Who's saying what's up to me? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and
And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah.